Sanguinary priests are the revered apothecaries of the Blood Angels, balancing roles as battlefield medics and spiritual guides. Armed with sacred relics like the Blood Chalice and Nathisium, they heal their brothers, retrieve fallen gene seed, and monitor the Red Thirst, harnessing its power when needed. Guardians of the Red Grail and the Blood of Sanguinius, they oversee the induction of the new recruits through Insanguination. Equal to chaplains in influence, they are essential to the Blood Angel's survival and legacy. Hello my friends, my name is Max and today we are building Blood Angel Sanguinary Priest, the new mini that was released this year, fairly cool looking apothecary of Blood Angels. This is gonna be the third iteration of the Sanguinary Priest. The very first Sanguinary Priest, actually it was Sanguinary High Priest Carbulo was released during the second edition of Warhammer 40k in 1996, pretty sure it was metal. In 1998 there was the first Sanguinary Priest without name, was unnamed character, looking really really funny today. Then the second unnamed Sanguinary Priest was released in 2014 during the seventh edition, a really cool looking mini. And now we have the first Primarius Sanguinary Priest of 2024, and this is a 10th edition miniature. And this is exactly the mini that we are going to build today. If we take a look at the back of the box, we can see that there are a number of different options how to assemble our guy. He can wear different heads. I think these heads are actually quite different. And there is a helmeted one. He has some weaponry options, a chain sword, bolt pistol. So let's go ahead and open the box. Inside we find a sprue, a booklet with assembly instructions and of course a base. Let's take a look at the sprue. A really nice sprue over here. I clearly can see the chain sword, the bolt pistol, various heads. And let's take a look at the instructions. So this is our guy. We have various options of assembly here. He might be dashing to his right or shooting to his left. It's different variants. Different head options, three of them namely, all are looking really really good. Yes, that is amazing guys, that is amazing. Okay, let's uh, build the guy. We start as always with the torso and we probably actually start with the legs. The right one made from beats 2 and 3 and the left one made from beats 5 and 6. Let's start with this one. This is beat number 2 and this is beat number 3. The beats of our right leg are cleaned up. Let's see how they should be combined together. Should be something like this. Let's glue them. Put some glue here. This is our right leg. We do the same for the left one, beats 5 and 6. This is beat number 5. And this is beat number 6. Both beats of the left leg are cleaned up. They should be combined together like this. And I'm gonna glue them. There we go. This is our left leg. Now we need the torso, back of the torso number 1. This is beat 1. This is the back of the torso. Let's see how the legs should be sitting here. This is the right one. Even though it fits perfectly, you would need to dry fit it in order to have a feel where the glue should go. This is our right leg. Let's see how the left one should be assembled. The left one should be in this position. I'm gonna glue it now. The glue should go here. This is how it should look like. We continue with the front of the torso, number seven, and this thing for the gene seed, I believe, number four. Let's do the seven first. This is bit seven. Bit seven is cleaned up. Let's see how it should be attached to the body should be like this. I'm gonna glue it now. Here we go. This is our torso so far. Now to the beat number four. This is the beat four. This is our beat four. 
as you can see, it has a very distinct look over here. And it should be sitting over here. You cannot really miss it. It should be in this position. I'm gonna glue it now. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue over here in this look. And I'm gonna drop these bits in place. Looking very, very, very nice. Moving forward, we need to put bits 8 and 9 on the chest. This is bit number 8, and this is bit number 9. This is our bit 8 cleaned up. And it should be sitting somewhere here on his chest, like this. Here we go. Let's glue it. This is it. Very, very good. And next we have this chalice looking thing. It should be attached here, like this. I'm gonna glue it. Hopefully not too much glue. There we go. This is our chalice. Be advised, it is very, very flimsy. Don't press too much, otherwise it will move around, jiggle around. And we don't want to have that. Alright, we are moving to the next page. We are moving to the right arm, which is going to be combined from beats 12 and 13. This is beat number 12, and this is beat number 13. The both beats of our right arm are prepared. Let's see how they should be sitting together, somewhat like this. Let's glue them. The glue should go here and here. And this is our right arm. I will give the right arm a little bit of rest. And now we have some executive decisions to make. We either go with the blue assembly options or the green ones. I really like the blue one with the chain sword. So we're just gonna go ahead and assemble this guy with a helmet, of course. In order to assemble the blue guy, we need to put the arm with the chain sword the bolt pistol and holster, and uh, shoulder pads on the arm, which we still did not attach. I suggest we start with the bolt pistol in a holster 11. This is bit number 11. This is our bolt pistol. Should be sitting somewhere here. There is also a prominent lock, as you can see, in this area. I'm gonna put some glue on it and around it. And that should be enough for us to put it into place. There we go. This is our bolt pistol. Let's go for the arm with the chain sword 15 next. This is our arm 15. The left arm is cleaned up. Let's see how it should be attached over here. It seems like that you are free to decide on the exact angle. I think I should do something like this kind of angle. And I'm gonna glue it. Let's see. I think this this one is good. This looks like a decent angle to me. And let's do the same for this arm. So we are supposed to be putting it here. I think this arm should be assembled separately. If you don't do partial assembly here, you might find some bits of his torso challenging to paint. Anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue it. And this is how my lad is looking like so far. Next, we put the shoulder pad 14 on his right shoulder. This is bit 14. The bit 14 with the apothecarian symbol is cleaned up. Should be sitting on his right shoulder like this. I'm gonna glue it now. This is our shoulder pad. And next, we proceed to the Left shoulder pad 17 and the backpack. Let's assemble the backpack first. So we need the backpack itself 21 and some lamp and a camera 22 and 23. This is the B21, the backpack. This is the lamp 22. I have cleaned up the lamp that should be sitting on the backpack. Let's take a look at how it should be assembled. So it should be sitting like this. He is looking on his right and the lamp is looking that way too. I'm gonna try to glue it now. The lamp is sitting over the right shoulder. There we go. This is our lamp. 
sitting on the backpack. Now to the camera 23. This is our camera 23. The camera is cleaned up. Let's see how it should be sitting on the backpack. There is also a look here. So this is the how the camera should look like. I'm gonna glue it. This is our camera and the lamp. Before we attach the backpack, let's go for the shoulder pad 17. This is the shoulder pad 17. This is our shoulder pad. And it should be sitting on this shoulder. Like this. I'm gonna glue it now. There we go. And now let's see how the backpack should be attached. It should be sitting here. Like this. Somewhat like this. Yeah, let's glue it. Glue should be here, maybe a little bit here too. And this is our guy with the backpack. Nice. We have done all these beats. We skip the green ones because they are for this mini. And now we arrive to the head option. Let's do the head number 18 with the helmet. This is the helmet that had 18. This is our guy's head and it should be sitting over here. I'm just gonna glue it directly because you can always adjust the position before it fixes itself with glue. I think this is perfect. And now let's assemble this servo skull with a drill 27 and 26. This is bit 26 and this is the servo skull 27. And the servo skull is really tiny, guys. It should be sitting over here on this base kind of thing, like this. And I'm gonna glue it now. Be extremely careful, don't put too much glue here. This otherwise it's gonna just melt too much. This servo skull is extremely flimsy. So it should be sitting here, like this. And I really like how cool this base in a Space Marine helmet is. <laughs> this is amazing. And now let's put the guy on the base, 40 millimeter base. Let's check the base. The base looks good. He is running. That is why he is supposed to be standing only on one leg. And uh, this is exactly the leg that we're gonna, we're gonna glue can technically put some glue here too, but I don't think it will touch the ground. The guy should be running in this direction, so it should be somewhat like this, I guess. So this way, as you can see, his head is roughly in the middle of the base. I think this is more or less correct position. This is a very dynamic pose for this miniature. And the servo skull is supposed to be over here somewhere, so I'm just gonna try to glue it and uh, drop it on the floor and see it's in the correct position. So the servo skull is supposed to be following his lead and it should be somewhere here, maybe even somewhere here, heading in that direction. I think this is the right place for the servo skull because otherwise the servo skull is gonna be under his uh, boots and we don't wanna go there. So I think this is this is it. The servo skull is rushing in the similar direction as this guy. Yeah, this looks like a finished mini. Let's double check if we have missed anything. We assemble both legs, put it on the back of the torso, put the front part of the torso, this thing, these things, the right hand over here, then we follow the blue instructions. The hand with the chain sword. Bolt pistol, shoulder pad, shoulder pad, backpack with camera and uh, the lights, the servo skull, the head, and yeah, this is pretty much it, my friends. This is our guy. This is the Blood Angels Apothecary. Incredibly cool mini. It took me roughly 45-ish minutes to assemble it because of a lot of small details and a lot of mold line to remove. It might require partial assembly, especially with this right arm, which covers parts of the torso. So if you want to paint him perfectly, you probably want to do the right arm separately. I would give this mini five server skulls out of five for the fun of building it, because this mini looks incredibly cool. And I will give it four server skulls out of five for the easy to assemble part, because there was a lot of mold line. And uh, some of these mold lines were 
really hard to remove because of reasons. Let's compare this guy to some other apothecaries that are there, shall we? This is the apothecary from the Death Watch Combat Patrol. As we can see, it is very, very similar to the one that we have built today. Very similar looking, apart from the gear on the backpack. But other than that, very, very, very similar. Same size, really cool looking, very nice. Next come Apothecary Bialogis from the Leviathan box. Also looks incredibly cool. This guy is in Gravis armor, so he is basically waging biological warfare. I think, I think this container has some sort of virus or whatever. But it also looks very cool and very similar at the same time to the guy that we have built today. And this is my homebrewed Terminator, of old style Terminator. This is actually Space Marine Heroes 2 Terminator, modified with some apothecary bits. So the gray bits that you can see, they are from old Terminators, pre primaris Terminators. I intend to build some newer ones, but this is the one that I have, and this is also a Blood Angel. So technically these two guys are from the same chapter. Looking nice. And I think, my friends, this is gonna be it for today. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think of this mini and what do you think of the new Blood Angels miniatures released recently. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. We have more minis to build and your subscription will help me to move forward. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Max is out. Take care. Bye.